Good day folks. Welcome back to video two of our mini series here, 10 Proven Patterns for Still Waters with the BC Fly Guys. Uh, the second pattern we're going to tie for you is a um, red and black ice cream cone chronomid, kind of a still water staple here in the BC interior. So um, I'm tying this one bomber style. So I've got a Togan's Curved Nymph Hook in the vise, that's a size 12 2X, and a 7 64ths of an inch white bead. That's a UV white bead. Um, also, you t could tie these, uh, obviously, on this hook in the bomber style or on the scud hook uh, from a size 10 right down to an 18. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. We've got some black UTC Ultra Thread. And I'm just going to go ahead and get that started on the hook shank here. And the first material we're going to tie in is some red ultra wire now there's quite a few variations to this fly one of them you could replace this wire with a red tinsel so a holographic tinsel or a, a red flash of blue anything along those lines would work as well there's uh, quite a few different things you can do for this particular fly so i'm going to go ahead and do just the original with the uh, red ultra wire and uh, I'll go ahead and get that tied in. And then same thing for the body with this fly. I mean, you've got, uh, you know, just something as simple as using this uh, black thread here for the body and just wrapping the wire over top of it is, uh, can prove fairly effective. Usually if I do thread body flies, I like to use a, uh, a fly finish of some sort. So the Loon UV uh, fly finish works really well. Just gives that, uh, thread a little shine sometimes that can be quite helpful so um, anyhow so for this particular one I'm going to use uh, crystal flash um, but again you can use uh, you know scud back crystal flash flashaboo um, frostbite there's numerous different uh, materials that you can use to uh, achieve this similar effect on some a fly like this so Feel free to experiment a little bit and, and uh, see what works best for you. Um, so I've got some black crystal flash here. I'm just tying that in and uh, right down to the bottom beside the wire. And I'm going to go ahead and twist my bobbin and just make sure that's nice and flat for the return trip back up. Okay, so I'll smooth everything out here as we go. And just make sure we've got our taper right where we want to have it. It's looking pretty good here. You can just work that thread back and forth a little bit to build that up more if you if you like. And that looks pretty good to me for now. Okay, so now we're just going to take our flashaboo and go ahead and wrap that up the body. There. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, now we can take our wire, just get it started down at the bottom here, and nice even open wraps. Shoot for seven of them. Tuck your wire in behind your bead and tie that off as well. And then you can go ahead and helicopter the wire out of there. 
once again just give that bobbin a little spin here and flatten out your thread make yourself a nice clean up the thorax grab your whip finisher go ahead and just put a little four or five turn whip finish in here and that's about all there is to it you can uh, give it your coating of choice for durability obviously I like the crazy glue so just put a little coating of this on here protect that flashaboo and keep everything in where it should be and this fly should be able to catch quite a few fish so there it is <clears throat> that's the uh, black and red ice cream cone and uh, I hope it fishes just as well for you as it does for me and uh, look for the next video we should be coming out with that one shortly we'll have another uh, still water pattern for you and uh, thanks again for watching we'll see you on the next one tight lines